Anthony Camareri here at Ole Miss. Uh, you guys, huge ankle leg for you. Taking second. How do you feel about the race? Uh, I feel great. I mean, we got the baton a little further back than I was hoping, but I mean, they got me close enough, and they always say it's not the mile legs all that matters. So throughout the race, I was just kind of um, got back, last on the back, and then just kind of slowly moved my way up, and then kind of kind of realized the race was for a second because Oklahoma State was so far ahead, and then. I uh, just kept moving up, and then I thought the top, second, third, and fourth were going to get me. And then I just kind of mastered move, got to 100 to go, realized it felt pretty good, swung wide, and yeah, I was not expecting to catch so many people, but it yeah. went really well. Are you surprised how good you felt at the end of that leg? Yeah, I've actually never been in altitude in my life, yeah. so I was kind of, wasn't really sure like how I was going to feel. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got through 800, I was like, All right, I feel good, I don't really feel like anything too crazy. I just think it went out a little harder than I was wanting to because mm -hmm. I was kind of worried that like a 55 would come back to bite me later in the race. Um, but yeah, once I had 600, 400 to go, I was like, I still feel pretty decent. And then, yeah, I was kind of surprised I had that last year 100 to go. I wasn't really expecting to have that, yeah. especially passing like such good runners like Abdallah. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, you ran, I think, 357, which had to be really? actually the fastest split of the night. Like, do you think yeah. you could have done something like that at altitude, like going in? No, um, I knew it was going to be three to four seconds, which the past two DMRs I've run. That's uh, the so 354s. So I kind of figured if, you know, similar race played out, uh, it'd be around 357, 358. Mm -hmm. So, but I wasn't trying to put too much like emphasis on uh, times as most just racing, being competitive. Yeah. Did you, you entered in any individual events? Here? No, I didn't really. Mile, I was 32nd, then 3K. I didn't really have a very good 3K. Um, at SCC's, I almost PR'd off of a 420 first mile. Yeah. So that was kind of disappointing for the indoor season, not getting an individual qualifier, but. I mean, I was kind of happy once I realized, you know, the DMR, yeah. and that was just my only focus. So does that kind of prove to you that, you know, you belong with these guys? Yeah, I kind of proved to myself that at SCCs, because mm -hmm. in the DMR, I almost, I mean, Dylan, Dylan Jacobs definitely ran away from me last 50, but I was right on his heels after being three seconds back. Then in the 3K, he only beat me about half a second. So at, after that weekend, I kind of realized, like, all right, I'm getting pretty good, like, towards the top of the NCAA, so... That gave me a lot of confidence going into this weekend. Mm -hmm. How long have you been at Ole Miss for? This is my first year. I did my undergrad at Miami, Ohio. Okay. So shout out to them. I mean, I wouldn't be here without them. So, yeah, I mean, they did a great job developing me. And then, unfortunately, I kind of I decided to transfer. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I have nothing but gratitude for everything they did in Miami. Yeah, like when you were deciding to transfer, was Van Hoy still a coach? Or was Adam yeah, coach so, or? yeah, Van Hoy recruited me. I was – he actually showed me around campus. I got, my program started in June. So he showed me around campus and everything, and then, like, Three days later, I, he left out of nowhere. So, yeah, I was without a coach for like two weeks. But, I mean, Adam, he's stepped in amazingly. I mean, I mean, he's developed me like, to, like even more than I thought I'd ever, ever develop into. Um, especially in cross. I mean, I was like a nobody, and then I ended up being 55th. So, I owe all the credit to him and the guys on the team for help propelling me to this level. Yeah. Yeah. So you think this is your best event still, like mile 1500? Or would... I don't know because at, <laughs> my coach just thought about running 10ks with me outdoor, but then. The first meet of the year off of like not that was training i ran 358 then ran 356 and then started splitting 354s so i was like oh she maybe i need to focus on the 15 still outdoor and i move up quite yet but probably 15.5 is my focus are outdoor gotcha well uh, great race tonight thanks thank you time. appreciate it